taking phones actually doesn't work to change behavior long term. You get the short term behavior change, but this ends up in a cycle where you keep having to take the phone and you're not seeing lasting behavior change. So taking the phone is actually coercion. What you're doing is taking something that is the most meaningful to them as a way to control them, to get them to do what you want to do. Get them to do something by using force or threats. It's coercion. Punishment is coercion. It's to inflict a penalty. It is to treat someone in an unfair and harsh way. But it builds disrespect, defiance, disconnection. That influence, that level of influence you want over your team, it erodes it. You see, the phone is the easy button. And if you want your teenager to understand and respect your boundaries, then you're going to learn to use consequences that are correlated to the transgression. We do the, that's it, I'm taking your phone. When we are in a reactive or perhaps even slightly triggered emotional state, which is never a place that a consequence should come from. Consequences are intended to teach, not to punish.